Welcome back to Module 11's exercise, where we're going to be overriding the Documents and Media MVC Action Command. In this exercise, we're going to be overriding the Documents and Media Applications MVC Action Command class, Edit Folder MVC Action Command, which is responsible for handling the edit events for folders. First, we're going to create a LifeRay module project using the service template. We're going to declare our dependencies. We're going to implement the MVC action command override, and then we're going to deploy that to LifeRay and test it out. We're going to head over to our LifeRay developer studio, where we're going to go ahead and right click under our training workspace under modules, and to hit new, and we'll create a new LifeRay module project. For the project name, we're going to give that a name of MVC command override and we can go ahead and keep that default location, as well as the build type of Gradle and LifeRay version 7.2. For the project template name, we're gonna go ahead and use service. After that's all filled out, we can go ahead and select next. We'll go ahead and give that a component class name, which is going to be doc lib mvc action command. For the package name, we're going to put in com liferay training mvc command override. And for the service name, we're going to hit this browse button on the right. We're going to put in star dot mvc action command. Double click the only one that's available to us. And that's it. That's going to take us to the end of the wizard where we can go ahead and select finish and let that populate our code. Next, we're going to go ahead and declare our dependencies because we intend to override an MVC action command. So the first step that we're going to take is to open up our build.gradle file and list some of the dependencies that we're going to be using. The first one is going to be compile only group and the group here is going to be com.liframe and the name is going to be com liframe documents library api we'll do another line and another dependency row this one's going to be java x.portlet and the name is going to be portlet-api. Our third line is another compile only for the group java x.servlet. And the name here is going to be java x.servlet-api. Go ahead and click save. That should be it for the build.gradle file. So next, we're going to go ahead and implement the MVC action command override. So what we're going to do is open up our Java file, doclib MVC action command .java. We're going to go ahead and implement the component annotation as follows. So we're going to keep immediate equal to true. We're going to add in some properties here. So the first property that we're going to add in is going to be Java X portlet dot name equals and we'll add a plus and we're going to use the DL portlet keys and we're going to use document library you can go ahead and copy all of this add a new line this one's going to be document library admin and we'll do one more for Java X portlet name. This one's going to be media gallery display. We have a few more properties to fill out. So the next one's going to be our MVC command name. In this case, we're going to name that document library slash edit folder. And then one more line where we want to specify the service ranking. 
which is going to be an integer equal to 100. That should be it for the component annotation. You can come down into the MVC action command and we'll go ahead and add unimplemented methods where we now have this override of process action. We're gonna, what we're going to do before that is add an at reference annotation. And what we're going to do is add a target. And this target is going to be component dot name equals com life ray document library web internal portlet action edit folder MVC action command. Quite a long one there. And we're going to put that over a private MVC action command. Give that a name of MVC action command as well. Next, we're going to go ahead and implement the process action method. So what we can do here is actually go to our snippets under exercise one. We'll actually open up this snippet right here. We can go ahead and copy this process action method and just paste that right in. Make sure to resolve your missing imports. And once that's all done, we can go ahead and hit save. That should take us to the end of the code. So what we're going to do now is a final code review. You can compare your code that we just created to the one in the book or to the snippets that were provided as well. Those should all be available to you. And we'll join back in just a minute after you're done doing your code review. Okay, we're back now that your final code review has been done. We're going to go ahead and build this project. So we can go to our Gradle tasks under our training workspace for this module that we've just created. We can go ahead and hit build. That should build for us in the console. It's a successful build here. So now we're going to go ahead and deploy that to our LifeRay DXP instance. So what I'm going to do is navigate to that module in the System Explorer. inside of the build folder under libs. You can go ahead and take that jar and then throw it into our LifeRay DXP bundle in the deploy folder. Let's go to our console and watch as that deploys, make sure everything looks okay. Great, that looks like it started. So we're going to go to our web browser. We're going to navigate to localhost 8080, do a quick refresh. We'll sign in. And at the top right, we can go ahead and click the add icon. And we'll go ahead and add the documents and media widget to the page once that loads in. Under widgets, documents and media. Wait for that widget to start up. Okay, once that widget is up, we can go ahead and select the add icon on the top left corners of the documents and media widget. And we're gonna select folder. We're gonna create a folder. Under name, we can go ahead and give that any name that we want. We'll call this training exercise folder. And we'll hit save. And once that's saved, we can go ahead to our console. 
And we'll see that in the dialog, we should see a similar message in the log that says something similar to CMD equals add. And that's it. We've successfully verified that our project is working. <laughs>